Once the update downloads, it starts to install and you should be ready to go in just about a minute or so. If you're anything like me, I download a lot of demos and a lot of games. When I first bought my Xbox, I only got the 20 gig drive. And uh, you know, that ran up really quick. I'm sure you all know how expensive these little buggers are. They're way overpriced for a simple little hard drive. I don't know why, is it the shape, is it the size, is it, uh, it there's no reason. And it's Microsoft, come on. And here we are at the spring update 2010. Let's see what we could do. It's definitely not me. Okay, we're, so we're signing in and my profile is saved on my hard drive. As you can see, I only have about 4.7 gigabytes of space left on my actual hard drive. But I'm going to change that up today with one of these suckers. An 8 gigabyte jump drive. What you can do is expand your uh, system with 16 gigabytes at the max. Pop it into your Xbox like this. Somewhere. There you go. Usually you could just read music and video files off of that. But now you could save your gamer profiles, you could save games, you could save anything onto there. It acts exactly as the hard drive on top of your Xbox or on the side of your Xbox. Now instead of just having 20 gigabytes here, I have 20 plus 8 gigabytes here and I'm going to throw another one in here and I'm going to be able to download all my favorite demos and keep them and not have to delete them anytime. So it's really cool, I'm very excited. If you look on the back of your Xbox, Right where you plug in the internet, there's actually another USB slot. You could just pop it in right there. And there you go. You're powered up. And you could hide your little jump drive and keep the front of your Xbox looking nice and sleek. So it's pretty simple to just figure out uh, the drive. I plugged it in. I'm going to go down to memory here. And there you go. USB storage device. I could configure it. Customize the device to choose how much space you want to use for Xbox storage. Um, what this needs to do, it it separates a certain amount of space just for the Xbox. Once you configure it, um, you could use it, like I said, to save games. Use the whole entire 16 gigabytes if you want. Um, you know that kind of thing. So I'm gonna, just going to do this. Everything on the device will be removed, and all of its space up to 16 gigs will be reserved for the Xbox 360 storage. So you have two options. You can configure it, and what it'll do, it'll kind of format the whole entire drive and use the whole entire 16 gigabytes just for, you know, the Xbox right there. Also, I could customize the space and, uh, you know, say I just went 6 gigabytes and it's gonna put six gigabytes just for that where I can store my games, my profiles, that kind of thing. If I ever go to a friend's house, I'll have my gamer profile, stuff like that, anything will be, um, <clears throat> you know, wherever, wherever I take it, I'll have it. So it's really convenient. They should have done this from the beginning and instead of charging us a rip off for these like, crazy expensive hard drives. And uh, yeah, so I think I'm gonna customize it because I don't need all the space. Let's see, uh, most hard drives when you get them fresh, they don't exactly come with full 8 gigabytes, you know, it comes down maybe two, 300 megabytes less. Um, I have one file on here already, so I don't know what it's going to do. So I'm going to reserve, let's say, 4 gigabytes because I want to move files back and forth from my Xbox as well. So let's set that and see what it does. So it's testing and configuring the storage device. This may take a few minutes. Don't turn off your console. So that was pretty simple. There you go. I have my hard drive with four gigabytes free, my memory unit with four gigabytes free. 
Um, like I said, I'm gonna probably buy a 16 gig and throw it in there. Um, just so I have something else other than using one of my spare jump drives. So let's see what I could do here. I'm going to download a game. When you're ready to download a file, look on the bottom to down change storage device and you could pick where you want to save it. It tells you your hard drive, that's your official Xbox, uh, Xbox hard drive, and here's my memory unit. Four gigabytes free, and let's download it again. And there we go, now it's downloading onto my jump drive. So as it's downloading, just give you a little quick, uh, you know, update on how things are going. It's moving at an okay speed. It's a big file, so it's going to take a few minutes. Um, what you have to have is at least a one gigabyte jump drive to throw in there, but you could also throw in two, up to two 16 gigabyte drives for a total of 32 gigabytes on top of your actual hard drive that you have as well. A lot of people have an Xbox Arcade they don't really have any space at all so this makes their lives you know 10,000 times better they could download demos finally and you know all that kind of thing because they only had about 256 megabytes on that crappy little memory card on the front so that's pretty much a really quick look at what the Xbox uh, update is I guess that's all there really is the main features that's the main standout feature if you want to add me on Xbox simply just go to Sakura 82 Send me a message, add me, and maybe you could challenge me in a game or two.